guys, so this is a quick tutorial for the German Twisted Coston. Um, you'll see this in uh, a lot of pens, and it is in my Bryce's Boyfriend Sock pen. So, let's get started. Here is a, um, a 9 inch circular. I'm going to be using this as a sock needle, and then here is just some yarn from my stash. So, here is your tail end that's coming from your bowl. Make sure that you give yourself a really nice uh, like long tail. Uh, an example for the sock pattern, Bryce's Boyfriend Socks. I usually like do like a couple of arms widths. It really depends <laughs> on how, how big your wingspan is, you know? But anyway, once you've got yourself uh, a nice little bit of long yarn for that, I like to go ahead and make a slip knot. So for me, I just do a twist. So you have it kind of rocking over the top. And I just pull it through. That way we've got this slip knot that opens and closes. And I'll do that one more time. Your tail end is over here. Your yarn that's connected to your ball is over there. And I'm just twisting towards me, grabbing that string and making a slip knot. First step, easy peasy. I'll stick my uh, needle into my slip knot just as so. So when you're looking down on the needle, there are two legs. This one over here, so I guess you would want to say the one that is furthest away from you over here, that's connected to my bowl of yarn right there. This one that's closest to me on the front over here, that is the tail. Okay, so now we need to set up to actually cast on. I like to go into this little V, pick up my strings, and then we're making like a slingshot, right? So I go under my loop, through the hole, over the top of this yarn here that's connected to the bowl. This is where it gets tricky. You gotta untwist that loop and pull it through. And I'm gonna go really slow and just do a couple more of those to kind of show you. So you And then you'll see on the bottom, you have this like, I call it a braid. I'm sure people call it something else, but it just looks like a little row of knit stitches, like a little V braid underneath. And you're going to want to continue casting on like that for the number of stitches that you need for your pattern. Whether it's Bryce's boyfriend socks, Regular socks, hems, cuffs, collars. I mean, it's used for so many things. It has a really nice stretch to it. It looks really neat in my opinion. And yeah, it's just a great little, little cost on that you'll use a lot. So just keep practicing. If it doesn't come straight away, don't worry. Guys, happy knitting. Go enjoy yourselves.